Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Everyday Penny Productions. I'm Creative Zombie here, and Everyday Penny Productions is behind the camera. And today we're playing Monopoly. Okay, so now we're going to pick our characters, and I want to be the ship. What do you want to be, Zach? Uh. Cass? Ask me to me Whatever. Okay, start game. Let's go do oh, it. my die. Five. Zoom. Okay, we got an eight there. So one of the objects of Monopoly is to gather property. You like doing that and that excites you one of the best careers you could go into is real estate maybe real estate construction maybe real estate sales or real estate business buying and selling properties and this is a really good start to find out if this is something that you can get excited about okay so zach he paid he wanted to pay for a house and so he did so and now I owe two hundred dollars for income tax. Very bad start for you. Yeah. And your turn please. No. I wish you luck. Wish you luck. You. I feel like he wishes me pain. <laughs> Going through the jail. Okay. You landed on a free property. Doesn't look so free, it was $140. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have two properties jacked up and see what the like, Sometimes the lowest cost isn't really the best. So Zach, did you buy that property? Both of them. Excuse me? Both of them. Alright, so Zach bought both of those properties. In Monopoly, actually the best properties to own are the red and the orange properties. They're most ideal because they get landed on more often. So when you're playing the game of Monopoly, it's not the highest priced properties like Boardwalk and Park Place. Sometimes it's the mid-priced properties, like the red and orange properties, that are the best to own. Hey, thanks for that strategy. They are because less people would land on more walk in her place. Let's see what I'm doing, we just landed on more Are you interested in buying this property? Yeah. What do you say, Zach? Is that a good property to buy? Yeah. Okay. So Zach now owns Tennessee Avenue, his first orange property. Your time. I honestly think No little man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just got my first chance card. And let's see what it is. Advance to go, collect 200. I'm gonna go do that. Good news. And now it's Bam. Zach's turn. Bam. Let's see what he does. I wish you luck. Wish you luck. <laughs> you ran over your character. Congratulations. This will bring you to the next one on the property. The bank is looking for an investor. Who will be the lucky one? No, I don't. Never mind. We're on a mortgage. That's some money. Your time has come. Yes, I finally got to the speed die. What? What is this? Mom, would you like to explain what this is? The electric company. Well, it's a utility, and utilities are things that people need all the time, so when somebody lands on it, it's some money. Yeah. You also make money every time you pass go, and you should have a plan. So you are rolling the dice in this game, but you should be prepared in advance for you know changes and options. So when you mortgage, that gives you the advantage of keeping money in your pocket instead of giving it to the bank for the property uh, at, at a large amount. So that gives you more options because that's exactly what money is. That gives you more options in life and more choices to choose from because you'll have the money to pay for those. 
Back Ooh, to the action. Seven. New York Avenue. But that's expensive. Hmm. Okay. Twelve. This is the last one. Purple is a pretty good set to have. Because if you get a hotel, you can have a rent of $750. That's a lot of dollars. I think I'm gonna build one house right here. Whoa. Now there's actually a house here. There's no longer at construction. Wow. And that's one that Jack would usually land on when we don't plant any ornaments. K.O. K.O. Oh, very jail. Wait, what? What? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? And there's a little criminal up on top of the building. No. Monopoly also teaches you to have relationships with others and to play fairly. So negotiating and playing fairly are great tools to have when you're older and in the business world. Also, auctioning is a big advantage to some. Oh wait, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. That's the future holds for you. We got a 10, double. Double means you get to go twice. If you get double again, you get to go again. If you get double again, you go to jail. I like waterworks. All right, so Zach also just bought waterworks. Oh, he landed on Park Place. You can buy this property. Okay. We're not giving it to you. Not giving it to me. Nope. You're gonna have to. Now, Park Place is one of the more expensive properties, which also means it's more expensive to put uh, houses on and to build on. I bought it because he didn't want me to have it. So now he can't buy the property unless I unmortgaged it. <laughs> that means I have to deal with the house and get money for it. Okay, when you mortgage a property, that means that you borrowed money from the bank uh, to pay for a, pro uh, for a property and that you're going to be making payments towards that property, usually on a monthly basis. The, the bank will charge you interest to do this, um, so in the long run, the property will cost you more money than the original price, but it is the best way for many people, since properties are so expensive, to get into being a property owner. Yep. Oh, this is the place where all the spoon. So I just got myself three hotels, and Zach does not stand a chance. I'm sorry, Zach. Ooh, and I got, I got a, got an achievement. Okay, let's see what Zach is gonna do. No, little man. <laughs> <laughs> you just got the little man. Oh wait, it doesn't count. Oh, you're lucky, dude. Also, I have some hotels. Yeah, well, motels. Oh, he has motels, not hotels. I'm so much Same thing. Skip this. Good. That's good. So owning Boardwalk and Park Place is not always how you win at Monopoly. You win by making the most money. In investing, you win by buying low and selling high. Focusing on the most expensive assets, our odds are you are overpaying, setting yourself up for losses. So you have to concentrate on your cash flow and what would be the best move. Always keep cash on hand, be patient, and have a game plan. Focus on the cash flow. Those who win at Monopoly and investing focus on the value gained more than the price paid. Lay on. All right. 
Come on, Zach, roll. Let's go. So, uh, not doubles. You gotta stay in there again. Yeah, Sorry. which is good, because that means I won't be able to pay for the hotels. Oh. The longer okay. I'm in here, the better. Well, bye. <laughs> you just zoomed uh, right yes, through. Just zoomed through. Well, you literally could fit through the bars. <laughs> so that means you can. Here's my hotel. Five stars, guys. A thousand Pay for it. Oh my god, it's a thousand dollars rent. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I think my orange green. and red are the best ones. Where's my green color set? There it is. Congratulations. My You're not even clicking on me. Trying. And does anyone else that's watching this think that this game is cool? I think it's well done. Like really. Jack, if you land on my one of my properties, and if I land on one of your properties, either one of us are pretty much. I'm at 21 bucks. I feel good about it. For I some can't reason. see what the other one is. Sorry, dude. Yes, no, I you have seven. to pay fifty. And I and I get seven going out. No, <laughs> man, you could have died there. Well, not die. Advance to go. Aww. Yes, yeah, safety. I need that money right and now. Closure. I literally skipped all that. You took a risk there, Jack. So let's see how that goes with your cash flow. Mm. And your cash flow is a little. Hurt. Wanting and hurting oh, at the moment. Yeah, you hit mine. That means you have to pay me ninety bucks. Ninety bucks, and you don't even have that much money. It, you're the one who has hotels. Another good good part of advice for playing the game of Monopoly and also in life is not to put your eggs all in one basket. What does don't. that mean? You don't win just by owning one property on the board and loading up on hotels. It's also hard to win if you try and buy everything on the board and spread yourself too thin. Well, why have we bought everything on the board, so we just spread ourselves thin? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, now he's gonna do this now. So that is called diversification. When you diversify your property portfolio or your investments in stocks and bonds or mutual you reduce oh your risk. Yes, 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 yes! No. I paid five hundred dollars, boy. Oh no. That's that's the bad side of having hotels and houses, Jack. And Mom just talked about uh, that. Now you have to pay five hundred dollars. I'm, I'm kinda screwed. You can sell your hotels. I don't want to though. But you're gonna have to. I don't to lower the price. I'm not a bankrupt. I won! I have 15 properties, 9 houses, and 2 hotels. We were playing for an hour. Wow. Okay. That was a good now, game. Alright. So that was a good game. I think we can end this video here. Just to wrap up, Monopoly is just a game and it shouldn't be taken as a thorough education in finance and investing. However, it has some valuable lessons to teach. One, spread yourself out and diversify your properties or assets to reduce your risk. Two, keep cash on hand. Three, focus on cash flow. Use mortgaging to your advantage. Four, be patient. Five, pay attention to your spending and spend smart. Thank you for joining us.